Hello everyone in this lecture we will start with VCO circuit design let us see now it is shown a conventional delay element a current starved inverter okay so we uh, very well know that this current starved inverter is very sensitive to power supply noise and using an on chip voltage regulator to reduce the effect of power supply noise but it is not effective for operation at high frequency since a voltage regulator inherently has poor ac rejection and it also reduces the useful power supply range which making it undesirable for low supply ampli applications okay now let us see a, this is a current starved n stage vco in which we have used this n stages for voltage control oscillator this act as a n stage ring oscillator where this is uh, a biasing for this n stage ring oscillator okay so let us see the different specification design for this current starved n stage vco now first let us determine the oscillation frequency the output capacitance of this is c total will be c out plus c in and that can be given as cox in brackets wplp plus wn ln bracket close plus 3 by 2 cox in brackets wplp plus wn ln this is the output capacitance of the delay stage where this is the input capacitance of the next stage and this total will give us 5 by 2 cox in brackets wplp plus wn ln bracket closed okay now the total delay time will be given as for at uh, zero voltage vm charge time will be equals to t1 is equals to c total vm upon id4 where at vdd vm discharge time will be equals to t2 is equals to c total vdd minus vm upon id1 okay now unity stage delay time will be total time that is a uh, delay time total time that is t1 plus t2 which will be equals to c total into vdd upon id average current drawn by this vcco is equals to i average equals to n the number of stages into vdd upon into c total upon t that can be given as 1 by t can be written as f oscillation and it can be i average can be given as n dot vdd c total f oscillation okay where this oscillation frequency is given as the frequency of oscillation that is f os is equals to 1 upon n td okay delay time it can be given as equals to id upon n c total into vd from this equation of average current drawn by vcc and the average power distribution of the cco is given by p average equals to vdd into i average which is equals to vdd into id now the current steering amplifier ring oscillator this is the ring oscillator which is also a current steering amplifier the m1 is the input device where m2 is the load now in this when v in is high m1 turns on which sinks the bias current and the while m2 shuts off the on resistor of m1 defines the output low voltage vol when v in is low m1 turns off and ib is steered to m2 the resistor of the diode connected m2 defines the output voltage voh output voltage swing when ib is high frequency of oscillation is also high which in turn del v is also high where del v is given as voh minus vol which is equals to vth plus under root w by l1 minus w by l2 upon w by l1 into w by l2 into 2 ibk since the current sources always operate in saturation which have a very small switching noise is generated okay so this is the specification of a csa ring oscillator okay where the three stage csa ring oscillator can be drawn like this okay same but here three stages are used and this the frequency of this csa ring oscillator is practically independent of power supply and the maximum useful frequency of this vco is limited by the saturation voltage of the cascoded pmos current source in the charge pump circuit so this is all about the design of vco thank you